body shaping class is a total body routine and it's a the Spartan, you know, the, the 300 style workout, okay? So we're doing reps of 25 and uh, a lot of them are multi-joint body weight stuff. So uh, kind of a fun workout to do. Um, and again, the reps are a little higher. It, guys, it, and I've broken them up a little bit, okay? So most of them are 25, some are 15 and 10. We have a circuit set up and we're gonna run through it twice, okay? And uh, a, a couple things you wanna grab for the workout. You're gonna need one to two chairs, Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. You want two to four gallon jugs. I have an old Reebok step. I think you guys can see that in the bottom here. Um, if you have a, a you don't need anything real tall because you're doing 25 of these, but if you have a plyo box, if you have a step, if you have a stair you can use, that's great. Um, if nothing's available to you, we'll show you a, a jump squat step back that you can do. And then guys, also, because we're trying to meet any fitness level, if you have a hard time jumping, guys, you can just squat. So we'll try to make this accessible for anybody. Um, optional broomstick, guys. So the broomstick will come in handy. We have um, either bent over rows that we'll show you with gallon jugs or a body weight row that's just a little more challenging. You need a broomstick for those and you would need two chairs. Make sure the construction of the chairs are good. Uh, round chairs aren't going to work with the top. Okay, You have to slide through more like along the bottom and limit your range a little bit. I, I'm lucky about these flat chairs that even have a little lip on the end, so it works really well. Just make sure your chairs are in good condition, okay? And there's no cracks in, in the broom. So this is a push broom. I just twist it off the broom section, and now I've got the broom stick that I can use. Uh, also, we're gonna do deadlifts, which could be just gallon jugs, but I'm gonna slide this handle goes right through um, these gallon jugs, and uh, you know you can do a wide variety of things, but today will be a, a deadlift with these, okay? So, um, Guys, let's uh, let's get started. I'll explain, you know, gather those items, and I'll explain as we go through alternatives you can do um, and in different uh, weight loads, you know. And if guys, if you have weights, use them. Okay, that's what they're there for. Uh, this is your substitute. If you don't have weights, this is a way for just someone who doesn't have any weights at home just to get a great workout. Okay, so we're gonna start off, guys, with a uh, leg lift hip thrust. We're going 25, guys, with your reps. If you only get 15 or only get 10, that's fine. Do two, three, four sets if you need to, okay? So I'm gonna lay down, guys. We have 25 leg lift hip thrust. So I'm here, guys, and here we go. We're up, one. And you can put your hands down, guys, if you wanna do two. Three, four, up, five. We're going straight up, guys, not going over the head. Six. Two of guys, I'm gonna do all 25 here. One, two, three. Okay, so there were 25, and again, you can break those up. Hit pause, finish your 25. And next exercise are push ups. We always talk about this wide variety, of guys. Hey, you can start at toes, go to the knees. Start at the knees. You need to break them up, break them up, however you need to do that. Just want to get 25. You need to put your hands on the chair. Make it a little bit easier, a little less stress on the joints, like the wrists. Uh, I think I'm going to just put my feet up on a chair and try to get 25 push-ups coming down here. So, guys, we have 25 knees. Here we go. Okay, 
25 push-ups. Next one, guys, is a bent over row or a body weight row. Okay? With your bent over row, you can use dumbbells or gallon jugs. I'm just gonna lean over here to pull. You can kind of pull them towards the hips a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna do the body weight version. And for that, guys, we're gonna use, you'll need the second chair, okay? And we're gonna space these out. And guys, on this first set as we run through, you'll notice we have 15 now, and then we have 10 just a little bit later in the circuit. We're going overhand on both of these, okay? On our second set, we'll go underhand on both of these. Right? So we're here, guys. Set it up here. Fifteen and here we go, guys. Great job. So finish up those rows, whether bent over or body weight. Okay, the next exercise is a one arm pull and press. Okay, and uh, let me demonstrate that for you. So you're gonna grab a weight, whether it's a gallon jug or dumbbell, kettlebell. Um, okay, so, I'll, I'll try to grab two guys. They, they move around a little bit, so it feels a little weird when you grab two. But um, I got fat fingers too. But anyway, um, here we go. We're going to do 15 on the left, 15 on the right, then 10 and 10. Okay, so we're here for a while. All right, so arm down the middle line of the body, guys. We're going to squat down. Don't lean forward too much. So we're here. We're pull up. One. Up. Two. Get to the shoulder quickly. So bring it to the shoulder. Three, don't reverse curl it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, that was 15 guys. Shake them up for a second. And we're gonna get 15 on the other side. Shake my little bit here, guys. And now we're going 10. Okay, we got 15 each side. Now we'll get 10 each side. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's 
change those up. All right, yeah, 10 on this side now. Here we go. One. Set these off the side. Okay, we're back to the body leader bend over row. Okay, I'm gonna space these out just about where my grip is. Okay, that's the distance we want these apart. And uh, these could be your bent over rows if you did them the first time. Right? So, again, we're overhand grip on this set. So, we're here, guys. And we'll get 10 of these. Deadlifts could be just a couple gallon jugs. You, you could use a bar, of course, guys. You have know, bars at home. Whatever weight you've got is great. Just make sure your form. Guys, when I, when I, I'm gonna use a medium to wide stance. Just watch the back. So if you're using two gallon jugs, you're just sliding down the legs. See my back is straight. I drive up and I just straighten out the top. One, so it's kind of a lot of leg drive here. Leg, 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 leg and then straighten it back up, okay? Um, just for a little extra weight here, guys, and I realize it's not a ton of weight here, but if you want a little more challenge, you can use your broomstick, and as I mentioned, this will slide right through the handles here, and we will slide this through the handles. And if you want to, if you're using the bar, um, with these deadlifts, you could, um, you could change your grip under over. Okay, or you can just do both overhand, all right? So, I'll do a little switch grip here, guys. And I'm gonna drag right up the legs, straighten up, one. Right down the legs, two. Oh, three, four. There's 20, I'm gonna do five more here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Guys, nice. last exercise of this first set going to be box jumps. Okay, so you can use a plow box. I've got a Reebok step, as I mentioned. Um, you can use stairs if you want to do. If none of that's available, you can just squat, just jump slightly forward and step back. And even if jumping's a problem, just squat, guys. So just 
squat in place, or if you need to, you know, you can even hold on to something. If you have, if you have a hard time getting that squat position, just hold on to the bar, okay? So here we go. 25 of these. One, two, Get what you can. Take a break when you need it. That was 20. All right. Guys, that was 25. Box jumps. Let me get a drink. And we're going to start our second round. <clears throat> okay, we're back at the top. Leg lift hip thrust. Arms at the side or behind the head. Either way is fine. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, Straight up twelve. Okay, that was, that was 25. So guys, listen, if you're a little behind or you need to take breaks, that's fine. Just try to keep your breaks to a minimum, okay? And if it takes three sets, that's, that's okay. All right, the next movement, we're back to push-ups, okay? So I'm gonna just chill over here. I guess I'll do it in the same fashion, okay? Legs up. <clears throat> That was the push-ups, and again, you know, take breaks when you need to. Now we're to bent over rows, or your body weight row. And we're gonna go underhand this time. And 
if you're using daylight jugs, sometimes it's a little harder, you know, to go over or under. You can, but if you're using the broom stick, um, we're really going to focus on the underhand grip on this set. All right. So, 15 of these. That was 15 underhand grip. Okay, we're back to those warm up pulling presses. So, just gonna make a little room over here off the side. Okay, another 15, 15, 10, 10. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake that out a little bit. Alright, guys, 15 on this side. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, 15, and now 10. Set those 
off to the side. All right, guys, we're back to those bent over rows or body weight rows. Okay. In my case, it's the body weight and underhand again. So 10. Okay, and now there's deadlifts. <clears throat> All right. 25 of these. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty-five of the deadlifts. So now, take a random down. Twenty-five box jumps, guys. Let's get them. And again, guys, hey, hit pause when you need to. Okay. Rest when you need to. Okay, finish up your box jumps.
squat jumps, or maybe just squats. 25 of those. And guys, when you finish those, you are done with today's body shaking class. And you are on your way to be, what, a Spartan warrior? So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this class. Something a little different for body shaping. I like to try to change things up. So, thanks for joining me. This is Elite Fitness, and we're bringing wellness to you.